Hello YouTube, it's Doss Gregor and welcome back to another video about Gen 2. Today I've decided to talk about the depth clean function of Emerge. Every once in a while after you have installed a lot of applications maybe you even have installed something that you've decided that you don't want to have anymore and so you've done an emerge dash dash unmerge to remove the main application but have you ever thought about the fact that the first time that you installed that it installed maybe 10 15 maybe only two or three dependency applications that it required but when you do a emerge unmerge of the package you want it only emerges it un uninstalls that one package it doesn't get rid of all those extra libraries and all those other programs that you probably don't need. So one thing you ought to do every once in a while, and this is one of those that you do it with caution, is after you have done an emerge dash A V U N actually it's A V U capital N capital D world and what that means is A for ask, V for verbose, U for update, capital N for new use, capital D for deep. When you do this, it searches all your packages to make sure that there are none that need to be updated within your tree. And it's always important when you think about doing a depth clean that you first do this step. And what, like, as, as I said, this step will just make sure that everything is up to date as of your last emerge sync or webr sync that you've done. And it's going to go through and check everything. Now, mine should come back that there's absolutely nothing there to worry about. And sometimes this can take a little bit of time depending upon the number of packages that you have installed because it's going to check every single one of those. So since I don't know how long it's going to take, I'm going to go ahead and pull up simple screen here, pause it for a moment until we get that running. And as usual, no more than 10-15 seconds later, it pops up. See, there's absolutely nothing. My system is 100% up to date as of the last time I did updates. Now when you see that it's clean here, you know that it's safe now to do an emerge dash dash depth clean and always the very first time you do this use a dash P now the dash P means that it's going to just pretend to do a depth clean and read this part here this is very important if you find inside of your packages that it wants to remove one that you need or want or know you use you need to do an emerge dash dash no replace and then the atom for instance if you use the gen 2 sources then if you do a portage update and say we'll just throw out some numbers say you were on uh, 3108 and 3109 version of gen 2 sources comes out it's going to pop up and it's going to install version 3.10.9. 3.10.8 will be there, but because it updated to the newest version, the next time you try to do a depth clean, it's going to want to erase all the files and your headers and everything else for 3.10.8. And the reason for this is because it's been updated and the world file has been updated to show that you have a newer version. Now the problem with this is, if you decide that you need to build something off of the kernel, such as a virtual box essentials or extra packages, you know, the drivers that you need to be able to use uh, the VNet and etc., uh, that goes off of your local kernel. Now, if your kernel headers have been updated to 3.10.9, but you built everything in your system and you have a kernel for 3.10.8, you need those headers still. So what you'd want to do is do the emerge, and unfortunately I don't have an example that I can really show because I have I have my system clean here, but you do an emerge 
dash dash no replace just like it states right here and then you type in gen2 sort dash sources and then dash 3.10.8 and you'd add that hit enter and it would add it to your world file so that the next time you did a depth clean it would keep that safe and you always want to make sure you do a manual no replace of any kernel that you're working with so that if it ever does upgrade you don't end up accidentally deleting all the header files for that kernel. Now I'm going to take a quick break because it sounds like the kids upstairs are getting their bath and the noise is horrendous. One moment. Okay, it's gotten a little bit quieter, so now I can continue on. I decided maybe I might try to find you a real world example. For instance, in this tab here, we decided we wanted to install Razor QT Desktop. So we started off with Emerge AV Razor QT Desktop. It's going to install, of course, these extra three files right here before it even gets to there. We say yes, and it starts to compile those files. It starts grabbing them and getting them ready for uh, compilation and then it goes forward. So it's grabbed that first package, starts unpacking it, setting it up, compiling it, getting through it, going through everything. Boom, there it is. Should be getting to the next package any second now. Okay, Razor QD data has been merged on to number two goes through kind of does all its thing gets through it finishes doing the make file here should be done here in a moment I apologize if you are hearing any of the noise upstairs my kids don't understand what the word quiet means when I'm recording and I'm sure those with children understand that you can't keep them quiet anyway uh, and and then we get in trouble for putting tape on their mouths, you know. <laughs> I'm just joking. Really, I'm just joking. Yeah, after the last time with the duct tape, I am. No. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> anyway, so it goes through here. Uh, it finishes up. Let, let us go through its thing here. Okay, now it's in the last part. Now, this is the actual thing. Now, if you notice and you remember, if we go back up to the top there, when it was first showing all of this, and it showed those highlights and that's something to think about when it did those highlighted things the ones that are highlighted are the actual ones that it has in the world file and so when you add that into there for instance the only one that the that the system is any you're gonna think anything about at all is that one for the world I guess that should be up near the top. It would have been just easier to do this and bounce down here. Okay. So you see his, this right here, Razor QT Desktop. That's the only one that got recorded in the world. These dependencies did not get recorded. However, they did get installed. And then if we look at the bottom, that we're all done, everything's installed. Now say, hey, you know, I don't want that anymore. So you say emerge dash dash unmerge. Well, let's just go back to over there and just do that dash dash unmerge now there is a single character but I unmerge so seldom that I don't remember it and it goes through and of course it's gonna delete that but it doesn't delete those other three dependencies so you go after a while if you've done this enough times and you've tried this tried that gotten rid of this gotten rid of that you end up with all these extra dependencies still stuck on there so now that we've done that, we don't want Razor QT Desktop anymore. We go back through here and we do an Emerge Depth Clean Nash P, and it starts to look through and look for any packages that aren't in the world file that aren't associated with any other system files that are installed. Now we should actually come up with those three dependencies that were installed for Razor QT Desktop, but we don't really need. So there it goes, and there they are. You'll see that Razor QT data is there, Razor QT libs, and libqtxdg. Now, as I said, if you looked at those and you said, oh, no, no, I absolutely need that Razor QT data, you could use the emerge dash dash no replace and put the Razor QT slash base, Razor QT dash data in there and save it. But as it is, we don't want those, 
So we take off the uh, minus P for pretend, tell it to go through again, and now it'll go through, display them, it'll give us about a five second chance to hit control C and say, no, we don't actually want to do that. Otherwise, it'll go right into it and it'll remove those three packages and clean everything up. There you are, a real world situation where this is possible that you could have packages that you don't really need. And see, here's your five second delay just to make sure. That's why you always want to go through a dash P. If you had pages and pages of these because it's the first time you've tried to do this, you'll want to look at each package and make sure that you've done it. Now, a very safe thing to do when you've done this, just in case you have gotten rid of a dependency that a package might need, are, is to do a RevDep rebuild. Now, if you've emerged the Gen Toolkit, which is G-N-T-O-O-L K-I-T, I believe, then you have a package called RevDep rebuild. So you do RevDep rebuild. Now, I don't have a, I don't have an extra for that. Uh, like I do with my emerge commands with aliases and things so if you do a sudo revdep rebuild you also want to do a dash p because sometimes it'll find stuff that you need to look at and make sure it's proper if you do a sudo revdep rebuild what it's going to do is going to do a reverse dependency lookup and make sure there aren't any dependencies that are screwed up or got deleted during a depth clean that may be needed and it'll tell you those and then you, it'll tell you what you need to do to install them. In fact, if you rerun it without the dash B, just the way you did with the depth clean, you will get those back with no problem. It'll reinstall them and you're good to go. So it's a good thing to always run just to make sure things are proper and that you didn't accidentally delete after doing a depth clean a library or dependency that you do need because it will find it. And if that is the case and you run into this cylinder or circular type problem where it's constantly deleting it you need it deleting it you need it remember emerge dash dash no replace and the package atom and that will fix that problem for you so i hope this has been helpful and i hope this kind of explains a little bit more how to be careful with a depth clean and how to use the depth clean properly so whether it's morning evening noon or night whatever you're having i hope you enjoy it thanks for watching I'm still enjoying a Linux from scratch. I will have that review up next Friday. Uh, next week, I will be in and out a lot because it's spring break, and I will be taking some time off work to take the kids camping up in the in the mountains here in Arizona. So, but I still have some content to to stick up on online for you, so you'll still enjoy it. So until next time, hope you're having a good one. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye now.